Hello friends, welcome to the course on complete CPP. The today's topic for study is loops. So where are these loops mainly used? Loops are mainly used to repeat a block of code n number of times till the end condition is met. So mainly there are three kinds of loops, for loop, while loop and do while loop. Let us first study what is for loop in C++. The syntax of for loop is given over here for initialization statement, test expression and update statement. Initialization expression is nothing but you initialize a variable, you, tech, uh, you test that variable with some condition and then you update that variable and the loop is run n number of times, maybe 0 times, 1 times and so on. This is loop body which will be executed n number of times if this test expression is met which is equal to true. If it becomes true then this loop will be executed. Please do note that only test expression is mandatory. That means this loop is also valid, this type of loop is also valid and this type of loop is also valid. Now this is the flowchart for for loop. Start initialization statement. Remember initialization statement is checked only during the starting phase of the for loop. Afterwards it is not checked. Only the te test expression and update statement is evaluated. Initialization statement test expression if that is evaluated to be true then only the body of for loop is evaluated and then the update statement is evaluated then again test expression is checked this is how the loop goes on the loop ends only when the test expression evaluates to be false and then the loop is exited and the statements below the loops are executed then the program ends so this is the flowchart for for loop now let us check the example on for loop here we have to find the factorial of a number hash include io stream using namespace std int main so first we are initializing factorial variable of in data type to 1 variable n accepting the number n from the user for int i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 1 n i plus plus so this is the for loop and we are initializing variable i to 1 then that this is the test expression i is less than equal to 1 the condition to be checked if it is true then only this is evaluated else not this is the update expression i plus plus so what is the block of code factorial into is equal to i and factorial of n is factorial this is the shortcut uh, form of this this thing factorial is factorial into i this is equal to this thing these two are same so what is factorial of a number factorial of uh, suppose we, have, we want to find factorial of 5 then factorial of a number is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is evaluated to be 120 factorial of 5 is 120 now let us check the working of the program now first factorial is initialized to 1 why 1 because we are multiplying factorial here with some number so this cannot be equal to be 0 if this is 0 then factorial will always be 0 we don't want that so we are initializing first the factorial to 1 so factorial is 1 i now as i've told this i is initialization condition uh, statement so this is evaluated only once during the start of the loop so i is initialized to 1 and then i is less than equal to 1 the condition is checked is 1 less than less than 5 yes and i++ plus plus is the condition which is evaluated after evaluating this block of code. After this, this is evaluated. First this, this, this and then this. Again this, this, this and then this. This is how for loop works. So, factorial is 1. Now the next step which will be uh, i, yes, this is less than equal to 1. Then the statement will be evaluated factorial into equal to i then factorial becomes 1 into 1 which will be equal to 1 and then i++ plus plus. now i becomes 2 over here 
So is 2 less than 5? Yes, it is. Then 2 into 1 is 2 factorial becomes 2. Again i becomes 3 here. i becomes 3. Is 3 less than 5? Yes. Then 2 into 3 is equal to 6. And in the same way 4 and 5. And then we get the value of the factorial is updated to be 120. So this is how this program works. And then third is printed factorial of n is 120. Now the next loop that we are going to study is while loop. So while test expression and the block of code over. So this is the syntax of while loop. Remember while loop is an entry controlled loop means the test expression is evaluated before this block of code is evaluated. That means first the test expression is checked. If it is true then only this code is evaluated else not. So while loop is an entry control loop. So this is the flowchart of while loop. Test expression true. Again test expression if it is true body of while loop test expression this goes on until the text, test expression is evaluated to be false and afterwards the statement below the while loop are executed when the test expression is evaluated false and the statement below while loop is executed and then the program ends. So this is how while loop works. While loop first test, test the expressions then the code of the block is evaluated till the text expression is evaluated to be true and if this condition is not met that then only the while loop exits. Okay, so this is an example on while loop, factorial of the number again, you will understand it here, this is the update expression, plus plus i is the update expression and this is the test condition, i is less than equal to 1 and this is the code, factorial into is equal to i is the code which is to be evaluated and then we, you print the factorial for number. Now let us check C++ do while loop. So what is do while loop? Do while loop is an exit control loop means a block of code. This is the syntax. The block of code is executed first at least once and then this test expression is evaluated. Then again if this is true then again the code is evaluated then again the test expression is checked. So the loop goes on until this test expression is true. When it is it becomes false, the next uh, the code below this will be executed. And always remember, do while loop ends with a semicolon. So this is exit control loop. And what is the difference between do while loop and while loop is while loop is executed only when the test expression is true. While this do while loop is executed at least once. Either the text expression is true or false, but do while loop is executed at least once. So this is why it is exit control loop. So this is the flowchart of do while loop. First the body of loop is executed, then test expression is checked. Then if it is true, this continues till the test expression is true. Once this is false, then the statement below the loops are executed and then the program ends. So this is the working of do while loop. Here is the example again about the factorial. I hope you will understand this. Don't forget to end this while loop with a semicolon. Uh, that is i is less than equal to n. The, uh, this program will give you the factorial of any number. Here float n that is the data type of n which is equal to float. You can take it as int also. And then factorial is initialized to 1 and then this is how the loop works. So I hope you liked my lecture, you enjoyed it, thank you.